now it's, it's black powder season. Uh, it's opened yesterday. And uh, Eric and I are going to go out and see if we can whack a deer. Of course, there'll be nothing show up because just, they're always camera shy. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, nowadays it's a lot easier because <laughs> we get black powder guns that are made like uh, almost like rifles and you put fancy optics on them and whatnot. But hey, we're still fighting with it. We're still shooting with our, collecting our meat with a primitive weapon. <laughs> So hopefully today we'll get out and uh, and uh, get at least to get a look at a deer or two. I've got a, two stands up, one for me and one for Eric. So we'll we'll see what uh, see what transpires from here. Well, we're heading back to my back 50 to see what we can get. It's just about a half mile across the bush there. We'll drive over to it and uh, provide no blue here makes it. <laughs> Hang on, she could get rough here. Oh, maybe better use four-wheel drive. Come on, sweetheart. Oh, I think we're going to make it. Poor old trucks that have been around quite a while. It's a 78, and I bought it in 81 in Alberta. We don't go on too long of trips, but it gets us into where we're hunting. We'll hopefully something will come out this evening. But the uh, the older buck, he's been coming out after dark. Of course, that's that's why he's old and got a big set of handlers on him because he's nocturnal, eh? Your handlers don't grow big if you make mistakes. But we hope maybe he'll make one tonight. <laughs> Tough track We're in deer country, anyway. Perfect. Doesn't even touch the ground. Well, it was uh, rather uneventful. We saw the buck, but it was too late, too dark. We had the wolves howling though for a little while. I had a little bit of excitement. It kept me awake anyway, but it got too dark, so the buck won this time. Score buck won, that's nothing. 